Hi there, Michael Eskin here with another ABC Transcription Tools demo. I was finally able to figure out how to add a click track to each of the tunes when you do the batch MP3 export with repeats. So uh, I've got a bunch of tunes of different styles loaded up here. I've got, um, I'll just bring them up. I've got a reel, a jig, a slip jig, a slide, a polka, and a waltz. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export all these tunes in mp3 format and you can see there's a new dialog and it asks you how many times i'm going to say three there's a new checkbox that says inject a two bar click track before the tunes you can go ahead and click that there's some information about how you should structure tunes for best repeats you might want to check that out it's also in the user's guide and say okay and now it'll walk through each of the tunes and you can kind of see in the notation at the top it's injected some additional abc and that's the click track It does this by actually copying the ABC over and over and putting the click track at the very top. And it uses slightly different click tracks for each of the different tune styles because the timing is different. So this will be done in just a second. Okay, so those are all done. I'm gonna go find those tunes which will be in my downloads directory here. I'm going to open them in Adobe Audition, and then we'll listen to them. Okay, we'll actually do them in the same order they were in the file. We'll do coolies. And then I believe it was the cache. And then O'Keefe's. And Fig for Kiss. And finally, Shabak Shabar. So that shows how you can add a click track to the beginning of your repeated MP3 files if you do a batch export. I think this is going to be a useful feature for creating backing tracks, and I hope you enjoy it.